political analyst, writer, and independent journalist. And we're lucky he joins us now on the mother of all talk shows. Uh, Mr. Kantan, thank you for joining us. Uh, we want to talk principally uh, about Turkey. The CIA have lost the Turkish elections. Is that a reasonable summary? Absolutely. You know, uh, the biggest loser in this election was not uh, the opponent, Mr. Uh, uh, Kilis Tirolu, but uh, the U.S. and uh, the CIA. And as you uh, pointed out, uh, uh, the U.S. has been uh, trying to uh, uh, derail uh, the Aragon's uh, candidacy for a long time. And uh, back in uh, 2016, uh, the CAA tried to stage a coup. And what happened was actually, I mean, or at least uh, the urban legend is uh, Russia's Putin made a uh, phone call uh, to Erdogan and uh, he warned him about uh, the coup. So for the last uh, seven years, uh, uh, the U.S. has been bullying Turkey with all kinds of sanctions and threats and uh, trying to force uh, Turkey's uh, foreign policy. And then they made a really big uh, faux pas uh, 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 so during this election where they uh, brazenly uh, tried uh, to manipulate uh, the election. Uh, you know, if you looked at all the uh, Western uh, media, uh, they all constantly uh, attacked uh, uh, Erdogan and they totally uh, uh, glorified uh, the opponent, Mr. Uh, Kilish Durolu. And you had uh, the CAA front organizations like uh, the National Endowment of Democracy. They uh, uh, met with uh, the opponent, and they had a lot of uh, social media campaign for him. And uh, more importantly, uh, the U.S. Uh, started like an economic warfare against Turkey for the last two years. So basically, uh, Wall Street, it started uh, to attack uh, the lira, uh, Turkey's uh, currency, and it lost over 50% in the uh, last two years. And that caused very high uh, 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 inflation and uh, tremendous suffering for uh, the Turkish people. But they uh, stood by uh, Erdogan because they wanted uh, stability. And I think they kind of understood uh, the bigger picture as to what's happening. And the most uh, shocking thing is that uh, one of uh, the ministers, uh, Soylu, uh, he's like uh, uh, Turkey's uh, the interior minister, and uh, he said something really uh, shocking. He said, uh, well, if somebody is going to propose a pro-U.S. foreign policy, that person would be considered a traitor. So I think that uh, we're going to see a tectonic shift in uh, Turkey's uh, foreign policy in uh, the next uh, five years. Uh, uh, Turkey is going well, to you, join... You can, see, uh, 